can find. Look at this. This is, are you ready for it? Are you ready? Look who we've got lying in the sand. Oh yes, hello, it's your TV moment, mister. It's Mr. Tangana. Can you believe it? I know a few of you yesterday were asking about his movements and if we'd seen him. Well, here he is. Our suspicions, our VM and our suspicions were correct and he's definitely snuck onto the property. He's very sneaky. I know you saw him last night on the dam wall by the dam cam and he gave everybody the slipperoo on this morning's drive. But here he is. Isn't he a beautiful boy? Oh, I'm so excited that we are having, I don't know if you could say an infestation of leopards because that sort of makes it sound like it's a bad thing. And of course, we absolutely love to see as many leopards as we can. So I am absolutely ecstatic. What a terrific find. And I wonder how he did that because I don't, if you didn't come into this drainage system, you would never know that he was here. He's hidden so well. You're a clever boy, aren't you? Also very hot. Let's reposition. Let's move a little bit closer. See if we can get a better view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to poke my nose just down here. Yeah, we should get a nice a nice shot of him now. How crazy is this? We came to Fulls Hook Dam and instead we got a spotted cat and I don't think disappointed with that. Hello beautiful boy. <laughs> this is my absolute favorite because I know how much Tingana hates the flies. If you remember a month ago we had him in the drainage system quite close to Cheetah Cutline in Gowrie, Maine. And he was so annoyed by the flies. Remember, he got up about 50 times and kept moving, kept swatting them with his tail and his paws and trying to bite at them. He's definitely not a fan of the buzzing insects. And I don't blame him. I'm also not the best. Well, they're not my best insects, the flies. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It just shows you, though, how much growing Hosanna still has to do to get to the size that Tangana is. And I reckon he'll get there. Hope maybe he'll be even bigger. Wouldn't that be nice to have a ginormous leopard like the Anderson male? But his dewlap is coming along so nicely. And he looks full too. He doesn't look he doesn't look particularly thin, though he is sitting down in, in the drainage system, which is making it a little bit difficult. Now, Lorena, you've said that you can't believe that one day our Hosanna is going to look like Tingana. Isn't that amazing? And aren't we so lucky that we are able to watch the transformation from the day that Karula first brought her little ones out and to maybe one day he may even take over this area. But that he's still got a number of years to go and I think he'll be pushed far away before he could come towards back towards this area. Right, we're going to stick here for a little bit longer, no doubt, and see what the king gets up to. So